so welcome back to the channel love on two wheels and it's a beautiful day it's a little chilly out here as you see i have the sweater on it's a little chilly but the bike was filthy um if you remember from my last video i took a trip up to tennessee into franklin over to moonshine holly davidson and um it was a storm and the bike looks like it it's uh like you might not be able to tell that much because it's industrial denim gray but it's filthy so um since i'm out here and i'm practicing with my i grew up a little bit so i ended up getting a mic uh, a wireless microphone to see how it works out it was time you know for some reason i had to always i was never able to keep the camera far enough away from me to do work and you still hear me and of course many of you who do these vlogs understand what i'm talking about so i had to get me a wireless microphone i finally got one and i'm testing it out so you're the first ones to try it out so uh leave in, in the comments let me know how how the sound quality is or do i need to up the gain decrease the gain or whatnot but i'm sure i'll be able to figure that out doing editing so still i'm sure somebody's going to tell me the truth so i'm not gonna let you watch me watch the entire bike just for a little while here we go Oh, when I mean filthy, I mean filthy. It's all black, so if you got real close to it, you would be able to see all the embedded dirt, dust, road grime. Don't worry, I'm going to fast forward most of this anyway, so then we can talk a little bit. new chromeworks pipes they started out black now they're gray so let's see if we can get them black again all right all right that's enough of that so we'll be back in just a little bit hey welcome back to the channel love on two wheels this is your boy Freeze. I know it's been a while since I've actually uh, recorded me riding. So I reset up my vlog in my helmet and um, actually positioned the camera in a different area. So I'm hoping this actually works out a little bit better. For one, I can see much more. And two, it gives you a little bit wider view. So Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know if this video works a lot better than it has in the past. And I want to make sure that my uh, audio sounds just as well as also. So we're actually taking a little excuse ride today. Like there's really an excuse to ride, right? But um, I was working all day today. And I didn't get to ride this beautiful weekend. Um, this past beautiful weekend because of you know family engagements and everything else we had going on and we had family come over um, everybody has been vaccinated so <laughs> they was able to come over this time and um i decided well since i was done with work a little bit today that i would actually get out on the road and we decided to buy something online i said you know what babe go ahead and buy it at oxford and that'll give me some excuses to get on the bike and ride down to Oxford today. So that's what we're doing. Well, that's what I'm doing today. And um, you're coming along with me for the ride. There goes a few folks over there. You're gonna give them the wave, I love that. That's right. Some riders get a, a bad rep for not waving at all. I don't really understand that. It's just a gesture of saying, hey, I see you, you see me. We're all in this together. Regardless of race, creed, color, nationality, this is a brotherhood on two wheels. And I guess sometimes three. I don't want to leave none of y'all out. Let's be politically correct on this channel just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're all family in this in this aspect. So 
But you're gonna come out with me and make a little stop. We're gonna go out to the uh, world famous Bucky's. And I may go out there just to give me something to drink. They have, if you haven't heard of Bucky's, they have a brisket table. And they make these sandwiches. They make uh, uh, sliced brisket sandwiches, chopped brisket sandwiches with or without barbecue sauce. And I think my father-in-law has actually turned into a, a brisket sandwich. He's he's out there every other day getting him a sandwich and some lemonade. And I think today is my turn. So we'll take a trip out there to Bucky's just to check it out. And if you haven't seen it before, they'll give you a chance to view. I think it's a it's actually a Texas brand. And they brought it down here to Alabama. So uh, over there near the Leeds area near the outlet mall so and if you haven't seen Bucky's it's more than a convenience store it's actually like a little mall and if you see the people that hang out over there you'll actually see that it's people hang out like it is the mall and it's the brand new thing around here so you know we're you would think because we live so close to Atlanta that it wouldn't be so I don't know uh, it would be so crowded all the time but hey this is what we have and so we enjoy what we have over here in Alabama so we have a new Bucky's yes it is a gas station convenience store it just happens to look like a mall and you'll see what I mean when I when I get there so it'll be about another 20 minutes or so before we get over there so in the meantime, I'm just going to draw the ride and I'll come back to you in just a few minutes. All right? Until then. So I do want you to see the whole thing. It's right off here off of uh, exit 140 on I-20 East leading out of Birmingham. As you can see, that's where the outlet mall is on the right side. We've got a few cops over there. That seems to be like their normal hangout spot. We got the outlets over there to the left. And you can probably see the sign now for Bucky's. It's a little gopher. Well, I guess he's a gopher. I'm not really sure what that is. We're gonna call him a gopher in the meantime. You can see that's supposed to be a convenience store, but it has a hundred pumps. I'm going to go ahead and use a, one myself to fill up. Make the light? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. We'll see here. I'll let you gaze at it for a minute. So that's Bucky's. Over here off in Leeds, Alabama. Leeds is basically everything what we call the outlet area. But um, I think I'm gonna go inside. Well, no, I'm kind of on a time crunch right now. I'm gonna go inside, maybe on the way back. Just gonna stop off and get some gas. Not that I need gas, but I'm at Bucky, so I'm gonna get some gas. And here's one here's one good tidbit. They actually have ethanol free gas. Not all not at all hundred pumps. I think it's only at a, a few of them. Off to the left side over there behind me. And um probably should have gotten the other lane over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and gas up and um I'll get back with you in just a few minutes, alright? Now I'm heading back. Yeah, I've already picked up my package uh, down in Oxford and I made my usual stop at exit 165. Pick up something to drink at the Apollo gas station and um, just heading home. So, but if you remember in my previous videos, I told you that I, I got the stage one upgrade and I also added in the Legend suspension in the back and the rear. And let me tell you something last few hours right here that I've been riding 
I've been actually looking for bumps just to test it out. And it is the smoothest, most comfortable ride. Listen, hey, ladies and gentlemen, any of you that have touring bikes or non-touring bikes, I'm sure they make them for uh, soft tails and dinas and everything else. If you are looking to upgrade your suspension, no, no, no. Matter of fact, let me just say this. If you have one of those bikes and you have not upgraded your suspension, I would highly recommend, and look, I'm not here to um, get you to purchase Legends or any other suspension. What I'm saying to you is upgrade your suspension either way. Any one of the major market brands of suspensions for your Harley Davidson, your Indian, whatever you decide to ride, it is a well worth it investment. I don't know why. And, and I'm sure I've made a video about this and several other of you have made videos about this because I follow you. I don't understand why Harley Davidson charges so much. Now, now, now we're no better. We have to pay for the bikes, right? But I don't understand why Harley Davidson charges so much and they put so very little in some of their um, in some of their bikes. Now, we're talking about LEDs. Should be standard. A $27,000 bike and up should already have the best suspension, be it Fox, Legends, Holdings, I'm sure there's several other ones out there, I'm not sitting here trying to, I'm not, I'm not being sponsored by any one of these, what I'm telling you is that there is a major difference when you decide to upgrade your suspension, and make sure you get the, the uh, SAG test done before you leave the shop or if you decide to do it yourself make sure you, you understand how that works if not take it to someone who does have them service it for you make sure you get your sag test going on with your suspension to ensure that you have the right rebound bounce you name it on your bike let me tell you something this is it, it is much smoother there is a noticeable or 100 percent noticeable difference from stock suspension the suspension I have right now and it's just like I could do this for hours I mean I already could but the seats that I have and the smoothest of the bike that it is but I tell you the, the suspension just does a world of wonders when I rolled down to Macon last week the week before wonderful I rolled halfway to Atlanta just a little while ago wonderful on my way home, and let me tell you something, especially on this road right here, between Aniston, Pell City, Birmingham, they, they're doing a little bit better. Uh, if you remember one of my, my, my previous videos, I've showed you that they, they're actually paving these roads, redoing these roads, but some of these roads are still uh, not up to par. And, and, and again, I don't know if it's the city, the state, the federal, Whoever needs to fix these roads and fix these roads. There's just way too many potholes. And what's worse is when they do come out and patch the potholes, it seems like whenever you get the next rain, and those same potholes are still there, and some of them have even become big. I can show you one on 65 near the house that uh, brand new paved roads. And, and, and I mean brand new within the last seven, eight months. These heavy trucks go over this gravel and uh, destroy the, the roads and they try to come back and pitch it up, patch it up, fix it up and it, it just seems like it's gotten worse. So again, um, I don't know if it's just Alabama. Well, I know it's not just Alabama. I've been in Georgia, I've been in Tennessee, I've been in Mississippi, uh, I've been in North Carolina, South Carolina, oh my God. The, the road to South Carolina of 85 North, that is just horrendous. Now, they're doing construction on those roads, so hopefully they get better. But that is that is one of the worst highways I have been on. So, go ahead and hit that like button and, and the subscribe button if you do like these videos. Well, at least some comments on here. Let me know what kind of suspension that you're riding on. And tell me how they feel to you. Uh, give me an example of what it, of what you went through with stock 
and what you're going through now with whatever suspension that you currently have. And I was talking to a dealer and they said one thing that I will not uh, skimp out on is the suspension. And I, I'll tell you what, I was hesitant at first because of the price, but I'll tell you what, do it, it's well worth it, you'll thank me for it later. And with that, freeze out. Until next time, God bless.